proud Aries. Let's get into a reading. So I've been trying to do this introduction and I, I fudged it up like nobody's business. So what I was saying is that this is going to be an Aries bonus reading. So the last time that I did Zodiac readings, you guys blew me out of the water with how many people watch. So I'm going to do a bonus for you and see what's coming in. I see you resting and rejuvenating. So you can be resting, rejuvenating, healing, doing all of those beautiful things. And someone could be thinking about you. Somebody could be thinking about wanting to come your way, feeling like they appreciate you. Okay, so there could be someone who's interested in you, Aries, someone who's appreciating you, someone who's wanting to come your way. This person could wear gold a lot, gold jewelry or actual gold, like gold shirts, gold jeans, gold something. What's coming in towards you, Aries? Yeah, this person's going to want to be vulnerable with you. So you have an opportunity to explore something new, to goof off, to have fun, to go play with someone, to explore someone, and really just enjoy their company. You and this person both could be in a season of resting or rejuvenating, or it could have been four days, four weeks, four months, maybe four years since you've seen this person, but I feel like four years is a long time to start hanging out with someone but that's up to you so what i'm saying is that something new is coming your way and the universe is saying are you ready to go out and play because you're getting a new opportunity after resting healing reflecting and now that the opportunity is coming you get to decide whether or not you want to explore what this person's bringing what are they bringing towards you the opportunity to go out and have fun because both of you are either discontent or bored so you've manifested this person to come in and have fun with. So both of you are in a season of life of being discontent or being bored. Both of you could also be anti-commitment or anti-marriage. Both of you could be along the lines of like, we're hustling for the money. We're, we're working on our finances. We're working on our home. We ain't working on marriage. We ain't working on a relationship. So this could be someone where... It's a new energy. They want to come in. They want to have fun with you. They really don't want strings attached. Do they want to sleep with you? Because I'm seeing an energy like, but if you're bored, I'm bored. Let's go hang out. If you're not happy today, I'm not happy today. Why don't we go chill? Why are you being so complicated? That's this person's energy. And they're saying that you can be open with this person. Someone here has either recently got out of a connection, recently got divorced, or this is someone where one of you or both of you made a final decision not to hang out anymore and someone wants to hang out again, is what I'm saying, which could be one of the reasons it's new. Maybe you guys didn't break up, but maybe you guys didn't necessarily explore things. Give me a little bit on who this is. I need a backstory. The moon. Could be someone who's mysterious. Could be someone who could be a Pisces, could be a Libra, could be a Gemini, could be a Capricorn, could be a Virgo, could be someone who's mysterious, could be someone who once offered you something, but maybe you or them or both of you was wounded. It's definitely someone who wants to give to you who wants to give and wants to receive. But the overwhelming energy I keep seeing is both of you feeling defeated. Mm. Okay, Aries, be careful of someone coming in and wanting to keep something casual and then them switching it up on you and saying that they need security because I see that. I see someone here could be wanting to give and receive but could also be kind of beating around the bush on whether or not they have the strength and the courage to actually invest in this and get security from it. So they might hang out with you, chill with you, and then after maybe nine days, nine weeks, pull the, we should start dating. And that could be exactly what you guys were trying to avoid, or that could be the conversation that you guys had is, listen, we're not dating. You said you didn't want to date. I didn't want to date. You said you weren't trying to build a commitment or get married. I agreed. Why the fuck are you changing it? Well, the reason why is because they they really, really, really like you is why. So, yeah, and they're not going to want to let you go. Oh, shit. Okay. 
This is also going to be someone who's going to get so attached to you that they're going to miss being with you. And again, they could get in that energy of, but I don't want to let you go. Why can't we just see where this can go? What should you know about this relationship? What should you know about this relationship? What should you know? You should know that this person is going to set a boundary or become a little... Okay, again... So, Aries, you got an opportunity for something to new, something new to unfold, okay? Now, they're saying that you can be vulnerable with this person. So, someone new or someone that you've done dabbled with is about to come across your path again, and they're going to want to go out with you, laugh, have fun, play, all of the things, but I see that there could be something that's going to get in the way of that, Okay. I'm saying that if you guys do end up hanging out, this person's going to get emotionally attached to you, okay? I'm saying that you guys are going to kind of come across one another's path where you're either bored or you feel stuck in your circumstances, so you're going to indulge in one another. An example would be, I've got trust issues, you've got trust issues, let's just hang out, and we don't have to worry about trusting one another. Well, shit might hit the fan when somebody catches feelings. It could be an energy of, I'm a single parent, you're a single parent. We don't want to put nobody above our children, so let's just hang out when we don't have our kids. Somebody might catch feelings, though. I'm saying here that there's going to be a final decision made, and this person is going to hang out with you and then kind of get offended that you won't take it to a next level. This could be a man. This could be a woman. Don't know. Don't care. Someone here is going to then place a boundary with you and have no desire to hang out or chat because you don't see success and victory with them or you're not recognizing this in the way that they're recognizing it. So if you decide to entertain this person, I would be very clear with what you're wanting, what you're thinking, and what you're willing to give. Because if this person is hanging out with you every Friday, and then all of a sudden you're like, hey, listen, I can't hang out this Friday, they might get really annoyed and then start placing unnecessary boundaries because they expect communication. They expect to know what's going on. Now, I am saying that there might be an apology that's going to be extended because of someone's impulsive behavior. Can this be... But I'm also saying that ultimately, this is not going to be a forever, that this is going to be a right now, okay? I'm saying that when it comes to building something here, there is something missing. Someone either feels depleted or someone feels that they don't have what the other is going to need to stick around. So I'm definitely saying that if this is someone you want to be with, maybe just tell them, listen, I like being around you. I like the way you think. Uh, I really vibe with you. But am I emotionally attached to you and am I seeing us having children and getting married? No. Do I react when other people mention you? No. As far as everybody else knows, we ain't hanging out. We just know each other of our kids' basketball games. That could be something happening here. And what you're going to notice is this person is going to start acting weird because they're attached to you. Because they're trying to be the change that they want to see and they're hoping that you have mutual feelings and that you'll kind of chase after them or come after them. Yeah, again, hidden agenda. Hidden agenda. See, that's what I'm saying. What you don't know is that someone that's about to approach you does have a hidden agenda. Okay. Yeah. Be careful of putting yourself in a predicament where you don't want people to know what you're doing and it come out. Because I am saying that you might be doing something in the hidden. There might, oh, here's an example. I just gave you the example of I'm a single parent, you're a single parent, we'll hang out whenever our kids are gone. Okay, that's great, that's great, that's awesome. But if you don't want people to know that you're hanging out with Jason's mom, Beverly, 
I would maybe not do it. Because I am saying that you either are doing this in private, you're doing this in secret, or you're trying to keep multiple worlds apart. And doing that is going to end up collapsing and people are going to have hard feelings. So I am saying that you might not want to see that something's going to take place that's going to be a little bit of like, yep, Jason's mom's pissed at me. Beverly fucking hates me. And everybody's like, why does she act like that every time she comes in? What the fuck did you do to her? Well, we were hanging out and I thought we wanted the same thing. She told me she wanted the same thing. And the next thing I know, she done flipped a fucking light switch and she did not want the same thing. Well, we can walk around and say that we want the same thing until someone catches feelings, until someone starts fantasizing about what it can be instead of what it is. And then they're like, well, maybe you'll change your mind. Maybe if I decide that I want something different, you'll decide you want something different. And then if you don't follow suit, they can get their feelings hurt. You might just be kind of in it because, oh, this is fun. I love to explore. This feels free. I really like flirting with you. You might be along the lines of, I didn't think this was anything serious. I thought we were dating like we were in sixth grade. No, they might want something serious. And then you might start offending people where you work, where your kids go to school at. So maybe be careful of things unfolding in a way that you don't expect because you're trying to keep things secretive or you're trying to keep different worlds apart. Because I'm seeing that collapsing. I'm seeing that coming back to haunt you. I'm also saying that this person is going to continue to wish that you would have a new beginning with them and that you would take a leap on them. And again, if they're around you, it makes them really anxious, okay? It makes them really, really, really anxious. Makes them really anxious. So you might notice that when you go to the basketball game or the football game, that person tenses up when you're around them. Yeah, somebody here could have to ask for forgiveness and then recognize that the lesson here was learned. Now, I am saying that in the far future, there could be an opportunity for a second chance if that's something that both of you want. But I am, I am going to say this. You might then have to go to Jason's mom, Beverly, and say, listen, Beverly, I didn't realize that when we started hanging out, when the boys were gone on the weekends, that you were going to get attached to me and, and be offended. I really thought we were on the same page. We just like flirting with one another. We were just having fun. I didn't realize that you started seeing something more and I'm sorry. Please forgive me because I never meant to ag you on, lead you on, make you think that I wanted the same thing and then have to avoid you. I never meant for any of that to happen. Both of you could have learned a lesson in that. They could have t learned a lesson to take it slow and maybe don't date where their kids go to school. But you could have also learned that it's, it's okay for you to assume that you're on the same page as someone. But that can change. That can change. You could be dating someone today or having fun with them and, oh, this is casual. I don't want anything. And then they might change their mind tomorrow. Here's an example. I know someone who, when they got with their girlfriend, they did not want children. And they told them, both of them had agreed on it. We don't want children. But after them two dated for a few years, she started seeing a life with him. She started seeing all of the things that they could have together, the animals, the home that they could build. She started falling more and more in love with him to where she wanted those things with him. He never changed his mind. So much so that when she said, hey, listen, I want kids with you. I want all of that. He broke up with her. He left her and said, you've changed the course. You changed your mind. We're done. This is over. Sometimes that can be a lesson. Sometimes that can be a lesson. That's what I'm saying here. That's what I'm saying here. So this person might want to come in and have a conversation with you. Or you might want to go to them and have a conversation with them. And you guys kind of getting back on talking terms and taking it slow and forgiving one another and you being open with them and saying, you know, I know you're still mad at me. I hope you're going to forgive me. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean for you to get mad at me every single time you came to the game. I see that happening. And then I see you guys maybe getting on a mutual 
understanding to where there could be a possibility for something to grow in the future if that's what you want. Now, I do see that this person makes you really happy. I see that there is a lot of joy and happiness. And I see that you really like speaking to this person and talking to them. You like the way that their brain works. But I also see that you might want certain aspects of this relationship and not the other aspects. And you have to decide whether or not you want to change your mind, okay? Yeah, needing to communicate about it. Because there's a lot unknown here when it comes to this reunion. See, okay, so what they're saying is that you guys need to communicate what you want. If you're dating this person, communicate what you want. Are you dating to get married? Are you dating to have kids? Is it okay for you guys to change your mind once you fall in love with one another? Or is someone going to back out as soon as the other falls in love? Because sometimes falling in love with someone can have you change your mind. You might not want to get married. You fall in love with the right person. Now, all of a sudden, you want to get married. So they are saying that if this is someone where it was like a misunderstanding and we're coming back together or someone brand spanking new that's going to get kind of mad at you because maybe they thought you guys were exclusively dating. You thought you were casually dating. Y'all didn't have a conversation about it. They're saying, listen, there's a lot that's unknown. When you use the term dating, that can mean fucking people, casually dating them, exclusively dating them, dating, dating them like you're a polygamist. Dating them like you're a liar and a cheater and you just want to manipulate people and get their attention and their affection. The, the blanket term dating can mean a lot of things. So they're saying that, again, you want to have fun with this person. You want to play. You want to explore because you really like this person. That's fine. That's great. That's grand. But maybe recognize that if you don't have conversations that you need to have with them, somebody might get their feelings hurt. And somebody might make you the bad guy when you weren't the bad guy. That's what I'm saying. So maybe just prepare that someone might get mad at you if you do open yourself up to this new opportunity and then not really understand what the new opportunity entails. Okay? Leaving it here, Aries. Have a blessed day.